hey, I'm back for the second round. Um, if you saw the first one, uh, maybe I have to make some kind of apology. Maybe I'm apologizing to myself. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, my producer, Daniel, no. oh. actually, he's also the videographer. Wait a minute. He's also the lighting guy and, and sound guy. But anyway, he was also a student of mine, taught Daniel art for several years. Anyway, so we made this kind of pact. I didn't really want to start this channel in the first place, but since he was my student and he was urging me, you really need to do this and get it out there. And some of my other students through the years, even back in New Mexico, have asked me to do something like this. So anyway, I said, all right, I'll do it on one condition. And that is that we don't publish the first one. I need a little practice. I need to, you know, I'm not really used to speaking in front of a camera. I'm used to speaking in front of a group of students. So it's kind of hard to envision that group of students there in front of me. So um, I said, fine, I'll do it, but it can't, it, you can't publish it. Daniel says, fine. And he does it anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I want to get that out of the way. After I did that first uh, video, I had some uh, friends, family that wrote to me called me, congratulated me, and then began to give me a list of things that needed to be changed, what not to do. And so apparently, apparently uh, it's a big deal uh, to have your lighting right, not to do any, you know, crazy things. Or <clears throat> so this is it, just, just for an example. Bruce, it's upside down. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Hey, when you know all these rules, you're gonna be better off, right? There's rules to art, and you gotta know them. So, I'm here to show you. Um, 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 um. Bruce, uh, you wanted it close, but uh, you should have probably worn You got one right there? Okay. What about okay. this? There you go. Okay. Look, looking real cool. Is that better? Much better. And I wanted to talk about atmospheric perspective, which is like if I back up. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to break the lights, Bruce. <laughs> um, 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 um. Oh, come on, Bruce. I told you to not wear plaid. They've gone to plaid. You're killing me. You're killing me. And I can't wait for you to see my newest paint. Whoa. I can't wait for you to see my newest painting. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to redo. We're gonna have to redo. I can't wait for you for you to see my newest painting yeah. because what? Okay, so all of that to say, I don't really care. I don't care about banging the camera, a light turning off, maybe the phone ringing, maybe I do care about that one, but I don't care about these things. What I care about is art, especially painting. I want to do a deep dive about art and I want to get that love of art across to you. And so any little Things that happen along the way shouldn't be uh, a problem to you, right?
Listen, I want to do a recap. It's important to know why we're doing this in the first place. And so the recap is <clears throat> I want to take a piece of art. Maybe once each time we'll take a piece of art and we'll critique it or I'll critique it. Uh, you can write comments and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, but I'll critique it. I'll tell you good things about it, not so good things possibly. And why are we doing that? So that you can become a better artist. Well, what if you're not an artist right now? I hope that I'll motivate you to start being an artist. I don't care if you're a, a lawyer, a plumber, uh, a woodworker. Um, you can also paint and sculpt on the side. So that would be a really good goal. Um, and along the way, I'm gonna try and give you those uh, pointers and tips and motivation to be able to, to um, make some art on your own. Okay, so after we do um, a critique about one particular painting, um, then uh, maybe I paint a little, talk to you about my techniques, um, other people's techniques. I hope to introduce you to new artists uh, especially people that haven't been discovered. Wouldn't that be cool? Some people don't care to be in the limelight. They just want to paint. They just want to sculpt and be the best they can be. So maybe we'll do some interviews of people like that. Um, but more than anything, I want you to start to understand that there is high art, high art, art that has lasted through the years for a reason. And that's because it's great. Um, there's also different stages all the way down. Just think of it as a ladder. Um, so there's very good art, um, and I'll be showing you a lot of that. Um, but I'm also going to show you mediocre, and I'm going to show you the bottom of the rung. Um, those bottom of the rung, I probably will delete the names or cover up the names because I'm not trying to embarrass anyone but I am trying to get you to think a little bit. Think about um, learning to discriminate. How can you know what's good, what's bad? I'm gonna to try to help you and lead you through that. I'd like to hear your comments, especially when I start to break these paintings down. You comment. Here's the cool thing. I may really love a painting and you feel exactly the opposite. Um, you can feel free to comment and say, why are you thinking like that, Bruce? Um, here's what I like about it. That's the great thing about art. Art is a communication between that piece of work and the person who's viewing it. I get really tired of famous art critics who say, you must love this particular piece, here's why. I say, you don't have to, you don't have to like anything that I show you. Um, if that's true, you might find another channel, but at least I want to show you my thoughts about why something is good, why something needs work, uh, or why it's truly horrific. Thanks for your time. It'll be a cool journey. See you.